Active Collab tutorial, how to use Active Collab for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with Active Collab, which can help you in making sure that you reach all of your deadlines on time, as well as making sure that you have a collaborative space for your work and for your business. So let's get into it. Now, if we talk about the pricing of Active Collab, you can get started for as low as $8 per member. And you also have multiple different options where you can customize according to your personal needs. So we're going to click on get started on the top right and we can sign up with Google or use our email address. And that's all you need to do. Now for the first 14 days, you will get a free trial of Active Collab. So you can use it to its fullest and then you can choose which features are essential to your use and then only subscribe to those. So. From here, we're going to create our password. And once you have created your password, Active Collab is going to ask you, you know, if you want to learn from some sample projects. This can help you in setting up your project space so your workspace can be easier for you to set up. Now, let's say that I want a recruitment process sample project to be created. So I have just created that sample project. Now, before we dive into how you're going to categorize your projects and all that, let's take a look at your basic dashboard. So as you guys can see over here, this is our basic dashboard. On the left, you have a control panel. And in this panel, you have your My Work section where it's going to display everything that has been assigned to you. Then you have your Activity, Calendar, and then your People section. From here, you can begin creating companies and inviting people or your team members over here. You can also generate invoices, estimates, workload, and timesheets, as well as reports and integrate any other application with a add-on. Now, to get started with Active Collab, we're going to go into this sample project. Now, in the sample project, you will see how many people have applied the phone interview, the technical interview, shortlisted candidates, and then uh, you can create a new column which might be selected candidate like this. Now, you guys can see these are multiple different tasks that we've added so it really depends on what type of work you're accomplishing then you have a discussion section then we have a file section where you can attach any of the or required files then you have your notes your time expenses and activity now all the tasks that have a file attached to them all of those files can be found in the file section so you don't have to go through every single task to find a particular file you can just go on ahead and search it over here now let's get started with building our own project on active collab so let's say i go into projects over here and on the top right you will see a new project icon so we're going to click on this icon and we are going to build a simple marketing board. So once I create a marketing board, I'm going to write a description. So initial launch estimates like this, and then you can click on show more options. From here, you can choose a template, but we're not going to do that. You can choose a category. So if you are creating multiple different projects in Active Collab, you can categorize them so it's easier for you to keep track. Then you can also choose the client company. So this is going to be your own project. If this is a group project or a shared project, then if you want budget and time tracking. Now you also have the option to allow clients to see your time and expenses, but I don't want to do that. I only want to keep budgeting and time tracking features to myself. And then you have your budgeting type, which we have time and expenses. So uh, let's say I have a fixed price for this. And then we have time and expenses record, non-billable, change billable status, owner and project leader, and the job types. So I'm going to click on create project. And let's say the budget for this project is $1,000. So I'm going to click on create project over here. Now from here, I can add a member or a client. A member is going to be a person that has full access to the workspace or the project space. And then the client is going to be a person that might be someone you're working with. So I don't have any clients or members to add. So I'm just going to click on take me to the project. 
Now, from here, we can start creating our task list. Now, instead of understanding these as task lists, an easier way to categorize them is usually um, status. So what is the current status of, you know, the different um, stages that an item might be in? So first off, we might have marketing ideas like this. And then this can be created and then you can enter, you know, a task and then you can build a second task list as well. Now, let's say I go back into tasks over here. We have marketing ideas. You know, this is ticked off. Now, this is a particular task. However, if you want to build a task list, you're going to click on add task list on the bottom. And this is going to be marketing ideas over here. Add task list. Now, this is going to be a list instead of just being, you know, a, a particular task. So if I want to edit this, let's say this is going to be um, approved ideas or maybe active marketing campaigns. I will just click on save changes and I'll move this down because I want this to be over here. Now, this is in a listicle view. If you want a Kanban view, which is a view where everything is, you know, categorized in a horizontal or landscape manner, you can see on the top right, you have these little lines that can help you in better organizing them. So just click on this icon over here and this will show you all of your different status lists or different task lists as you might want to call them so let's say we have marketing ideas marketing campaigns and then another task list which might be yeah let's say then we just have completed tasks so now i can go into marketing ideas and let's say we have a particular idea micro influencer promo over here and then i can click on these three dots and i can enter a due date a label a estimate and i can hide this from clients as well as mark it as a high priority task so i'm going to put in an estimate so let's say this is going to be it's going to require 12 hours so i can set that and then let's say i have to label and then i want to add that as maybe I don't need a label for that, so I'll just add this task as it is. Now, if I click on the task once I've added the task title, I can add subtasks as well as dependencies. Now, let's say this goes into my active marketing campaigns. So let's say that I am the person that is meant to do this task. So on the right, you have a time estimation and then you have a time tracking tool. When you start working on a particular task, you can just turn this on. And what this will do is that you can get started with adding how many you know minutes or hours it has taken you to accomplish this task and uh, whether or not these are billable hours as well as your expense tracking. You can mark a task as billable to make sure that you are able to account for all of your billable hours spent. Then you have reminders and subscribers to a task which will be notified whenever the status of a task changes. So in this way you can get started simply on Active Collab. It's simple, easy and effective and it covers all kinds of spheres of industries you might be looking for an expense tracker you might be looking for a time manager you might be looking for a milestone manager or you can just use active collab for everything altogether. it's really up to you and i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe